Hello everyone, it's Mikey B here. I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I am, because I got access to City Skylines, and I'm going to share it with you guys today, and this is going to be my Let's Play series, and I will probably be in my ongoing Project City, um, so yeah, it's going to be pretty damn cool. Uh, just a quick disclaimer, this copy was given to me by uh, Paradox Interactive and Colossal Order, and yeah, I'm going to be making Let's Plays of it. Um, so yeah, this is City Skylines, and it is the newly released city building game, as you could probably tell by the name. Um, so yeah, we're going to start a new game, and build a brand new city. Now, I must apologise if I sound a bit stuffy. Um, I'm recovering from a cold, and... It's doing hell to my bloody sinuses. So, yeah, I apologise for that. But I've, it's been a week nearly, and I wanted to make some more videos. So, right. What one should we go with? River Run. That's a Skyrim city, isn't it? River Run? Maybe I might be mistaken. Anyway, Blackwoods. Uh, wait a minute. What sort of barbarian leaves left side traffic unchecked? What we live in, wow, we live in this civilized part of the world, <laughs> right? Sandy Beach, that looks all right. Uh, Lagoon Shore, that one looks nice as well. Hmm, the thing that I'm looking at with these sort of coastal cities is you need to have an intake for your water and you need a sewer output for your water, and eventually, as your town grows and grows and grows. The sewer outflow can be absolutely huge, and I wouldn't want my drinking water to be infected. That would be pretty damn gross. Uh, this one looks nice. Two rivers. Yeah, it's got good forest industry. I've not tried the forest industry, actually. Um, abundance of farming resources, abundance of ore. Oh, wait. Yeah, so there's loads of uh, thingies here. There's no outside shipping connections. No ship outside connections, I mean. Uh, but everything else seems to work. Plane, trains, and highways. Okay. So, let's go with this one. What are we going to call this town? Let's call it... Uh, I'm going to call it Orsonville for now. But if you guys leave a comment of what you want me to call my city, I will... Pick the best one arbitrarily. Yeah. <laughs> Not very good with naming shit. But yeah. This is going to be damn awesome. This is going to be my second city, that means, son. Uh, right. So, hello. It's going to go over the tutorial again, isn't it? Right. Let's just close that for now. And let's have a look. Oh, it started us off here. Let's have a look at the different trees. So we are, we're in like a... A northern Europe, I'd say, looking area. It looks northern. Would you say so? I think so. It looks like we're in, yeah, Europe. The climate, anyway, that's what it looks like. Right. On with the road building. Right, so what I'm going to do is I've noticed that if I build my roads too close, if I start building too close to here, um, it, it basically starts massive backups of traffic and traffic jams so what I'm gonna do is make sure that this is long enough that there's more that there's more distance between the intersection and my actual town so I might actually build my town somewhere like along here giving me plenty of space to upgrade upgrade the roads afterwards so yeah I would normally draw a bit of a plan first but I didn't so yeah maybe let's just pick some arbitrary length this that's gonna cost two grand okay dokes let's do that and these are both one ways are they nope damn it I've just I boobed I boobed right there we are one way system going that way let's get to two grand again there we go now, is this going to be... Yeah, that should be alright. It's going to be leaving only three squares width in the middle, though. 
So, yeah. Okay, let's switch this to here, and then we'll... Can we not already... Right, there we go. So now we've got at least somebody can change which direction they're going, so they can go that way, back around the loop, or that way to do a U-turn out again. So, yeah, that's good. I don't know why I didn't just uh, do the four-lane road anyway. In fact, I might just do the four-lane road from now on. Because there's plenty of room for me to build. Because this is going to be my downtown area. Or at least my initial area. So, let's see what we can build. Let's spend... It's probably going to be about ten grand on the road infrastructure alone. So, let's try and go easy on it. Right, so you can see the little markings on the road, uh, on the grid of the map, and this basically uh, shows you the width of the buildings that you can place on them, and it also helps you so you don't waste room on accident or overlap with different buildings like you would in some other city builders. So yeah, I think that's really, really, really cool. Okay, so the one-way system comes to an end there, so this is going to force the traffic to keep going. And we've got a big open area in the middle, which probably means if we measure it, I reckon we could probably get an entire two streets out of that again. What if we stuck a one-way on it again? It's quite a big distance, though, to have a one-way without somebody being able to turn and do their own thing. So I think I'm going to make it a two-lane road going across here. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah, I should have carried on going two squares off to the right still. Um, I'm going to leave it how it is and just go with that because I like making interesting shapes and things and different challenges based on it because having a standard grid square base thing I don't think looks very awesome. But yeah, this looks pretty damn cool at the minute. This should be... Yeah, plenty of houses here. Do you know what I just realised I didn't plan for? Didn't think about the electricity or the water system. Hmm. Okay, next door we've got this big pond. Or lake, I should say. It's not a pond. <laughs> um, okay, this is going to be different. Because we're going to have to drink from the same water we're pouring the waste into. Charming. Right. So. Yeah, let's sort that out now while we've still got money. Right, so that's the way the stream is going. So you don't want to pump the sewage downstream. You want to catch the water before you dump the waste. So we'll dump the waste all the way up here. Let's hope for some reason... Like, the water doesn't change direction. So we should be able to collect our water before anything happens infection-wise. Hopefully, it's just a... I always find it a bit uh, like suspect that we're sharing the same water source. Um, let's pause that for a minute so we can build the inf infrastructure. And let's just drag these pipes out and connect them squarely to the road. Now the pipes, you can't do 90 degree uh, bends like you can the roads, but it doesn't really bother me to be honest, it's just uh, standard stuff. And yeah, the water pipes connect to the sewer pipes as well. As you can see, there's two pipes that follow each one. One for sewerage and one for the water, which is pretty cool again. And let's pick an area where... We will get good power from our turbines. Right, is it going to be over by here again? Looks like it's going to be over here again. So we get 8 megawatts, 7 megawatts here. There's 8 megawatts here. That's the most you can get out of a wind turbine, I believe. Yep. Yeah. So put that one there. And we will connect him to here. And then connect it to here. And we're going to have to make a long string pylons to connect to the neighbourhood. Now, I'm not going to carry on uh, laying down the pylons to every single square 
or around every single square because as the people move in they automatically increase the electrical grid uh, that can be affected by the pylons so as long as the pylon is inside this light blue sort of territory area um, these power these buildings will get power and as people move in it fills in the gaps and connects everyone basically so yeah let's play and I hope I haven't done anything well we'll find out if my roads are actually good or not let's have a look come on people move in wait a minute Is, did I yeah I put the pipes in and there's power so these people should be okay now yeah okay it's all good all well and good right economy what's it saying yeah we'll leave that as it is for now don't want to fiddle about because knowing me I'll mess with some of those sliders forget about them and then like down the road I'll you know it's like it's caused a massive problem lol Access info, yeah, already know that. Yep. Right, I'm just gonna fast forward it. Let's see what happens. Oh, I tell you what, people are gonna want jobs, so I'm not gonna make this mistake that I did in my first city and put the commercial zone close to the entrance or close to the residential place. So what I might do is use this advan this avenue that we've already got built and take advantage of the space and distance it provides from the residential area so I'll put that yeah so wait a minute let's just do a thing uh, if we went if we were driving along there we could go right and yeah connect to the shopping area okay so that looks pretty cool and what I'm gonna do is put some cross sections in this road because of the way the system is working so let's put one going across there like that and then one going across here like that so that somebody can turn around without having to go the full length of the road seems pretty reasonable to me and yeah let's fast forward or not fast forward let's just play and see what happens right are we going to start seeing any cars popping up I'm seeing houses I'm seeing houses where are the people I didn't just build the ghost town it says 140 people are living here oh look there's a Cougar! Wow! A little wildlife! I wonder if they attack people. Holy crap. That would be awesome. Right, let's just check. Can we check? Oh, we can't check the natural resources. But looking at by... Guessing just by looking at the colour, the brightness of this area here. I think this is probably fertile land. So we might be able to connect a farm industry. Uh, wait. Yeah, we'll do that later on, but they want regular industrial at the minute. Right, this is going to be different, because I normally like to keep my pollution away from the drinking water. So, let's put the industry area up here. Far away. Or quite far away, anyway. Um, let's go with a four lane... Actually, it might be a good idea to already prepare six lane one way system because as the infrastructure grows um, as the town grows I mean we're gonna need the infrastructure to support that traffic and one way systems uh, basically are the key you need to you know you can have massive roads but if you don't conduct the flow of the traffic properly you can still end up getting massive traffic jams so a six one a six lane one way might be overkill but it'll in fact no let's just stick to a a regular medium lane yeah let's go that way indecisiveness for a mayor it's not good 
Well, it's going to cost six grand to go this far. Let's, yeah, let's do that then. I want to make sure it's really far away from uh, an area that could potentially poison, like, my civvies. Or piss them off because of it being polluted. Right, so as you see, I just made a one-way loop. It's going to be different. I hope I haven't just screwed up. So we've got all these different one-way systems going on here now. Let's put one going across there so that a person can go around there. Let's put one going down there like that. So if they're going... Does that make sense? If they're going around that way, they can come back down and go around that way. Yeah, okay, that makes sense, I think. And then let's drag some industry over here and see what happens. Uh, let's keep going. I think I might triple fast forward this, but we're in the loss at the minute. Operating at a loss, I mean. Oh, see the industry pop up. Come on, I hope we break even at least soon. Because we're losing money. Power to the people. How hard is it to build an effective power grid? Not exactly... What is it? What did it say? It's not exactly state-of-the-art technology. Okay, some person's been sarcastic on Twitter. Damn you, Twitter. Bane of my existence. Or social media in general. Actually, let's go. Go, 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 go. Yay, we're getting traffic. Cars, I don't see any traffic jams. Oh, yeah, look, they park the cars on the side of the road. I think that's super awesome. Oh, mopeds, look. A family and a dog just moved in. That's so cool. <laughs> right, let's have a look. What's going on? Super awesome. Oh, crap. I forgot to hook these guys up with water. My bad. Newbie mistake. Um, right, that entire middle section is covered by water then. Um, right, so now we need to get pylons across. Uh, what's the most efficient way to connect it? Could go from here to... Hmm... I want to connect it to a point that's already got power. Without disrupting any... Oh wait, I could put it here actually, now I'm thinking about it, so... There we are. Probably not the most efficient cost-wise, is it? Oh, but we're making a profit, so let's not worry too much about that. Let's keep going. Yay, we're using the one way. One way system. Yay! He seemed to use that perfectly fine. It's good. Right, now let's see what's going on down here. Let's have a look. Yeah, the green zones. Okay, so not all the zones have been taken up yet. Okie dokes. These are importing oil products. Okay. Cool. Let's have a look. We're not getting any traffic jams or anything back here. Yay, we upgrade, upgraded to a little hamlet. Awesome. So now we could take out a loan, manage taxes. Uh, we've got garbage services, healthcare services, and education services available. With an elementary school, medical clinic, and a landfill site. Cool. Right. Let's put the landfill down before people start getting ill or buried in their own filth. Um, this is because of the network. I can connect them all here. Yeah, that's garbage service will cover everything. So this is going to be the area I deem to be polluted, basically. So I want to keep the distance from the population. Because uh, as, as time goes on, this will probably all develop into a residential area. So yeah, I forgot to wire up this little town to the grid. Or should I say the... Uh, 
yeah, I think that's commerce, isn't it? Yeah. Okie dokie. Oh, damn, we're running at a loss. Not for long, though, hopefully. Alright, are we gonna go into the green? Switch. Yay! Operating at £20 a week profit. Okie dokie, everyone. I think I'm going to split this part here. So, thank you very much for joining me on this first episode of Awesomeville. If you have an, a better city name to call it, uh, let, leave a comment. It's especially important if you leave comments on the first episode. It helps this video get seen by more people. I'm just going to be blatantly honest with you. So, yeah. Also, leave some buildings for... Uh, buildings. Leave some names for buildings and characters too, if you've got any funny ones that aren't like totally like batshit crazy names. And I will, yeah, name some people them and see what happens. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye.